Well, hey, coming at you today with some more positive mojo to get you through your next COVID-19 week. Uh, a, a few weeks ago when I was uh, teaching on Fruit of the Spirit, it was actually in the first week, uh, and I went over the first fruit mentioned, which is love, and I had noted that all of the other fruit listed later are all nuances or facets of love, but I had given some quotes from four to eight year olds who had been asked the question, what is love? And they had given their responses. And so a lot of emails came in asking if uh, you could get those. So anyway, I'm going to read you through a few more. Uh, I'll cover the ones I did, but I'm going to give you a few more uh, just to, to kind of get your, your brain back into a positive state for this week. All right. Number one, uh, Rebecca, who is age eight, she says, when my grandmother got arthritis, she couldn't bend over and paint her toenails anymore. So my grandfather does it for her all the time, even when his hands got arthritis too. That's love. I like this one, Billy, age four. When someone loves you, the way they say your name is different. You just know that your name is safe in their mouth. Yeah, isn't that one good? That one captured me when I when I first read uh, this list. You just know that your name is safe in their mouth. So good. Terry, age four. Love is what makes you smile when you're tired. <laughs> Danny, age seven, says, love is when my mommy makes coffee for my daddy and she takes a sip <laughs> before giving it to him to make sure the taste is okay. Good stuff. Emily, age eight. Love is when you kiss all the time. <laughs> then when you get tired of kissing, you still want to be together and you talk more. My mommy and daddy are like that. <laughs> Good. Bobby, age seven. Love is what's in the room with you at Christmas if you stop opening presents and listen. Oh, isn't that good? Love is what's in the room at Christmas if you stop opening presents and just listen. Good stuff. Nika, age six. If you want to learn to love better, you should start with a friend whom you hate. Woo! Now that is some depth for a six-year-old girl. Thanks, Nika, on that one. Uh, Noel, age seven. Love is when you tell a guy you like his shirt and then he wears it every day. Now there's a secret to life <laughs> right there. Um, Cindy, who's age eight. So during my piano recital, I was on a stage and I was scared. I looked at all the people watching me and saw my daddy waving and smiling. He was the only one doing that. I wasn't scared anymore. That's good. Marianne, age four. Love is when your puppy licks your face even after you left him alone all day. A couple more. Karen, age seven. When you love somebody, your eyelashes go up and down and little stars come out of you. Man, all of these are so good. Uh, the one that I closed with was a story about um, author Lu uh, Leo Bascalia. Uh, he once talked about a contest and that he was asked to judge. And the purpose of the contest was to find the most caring child. The winner was a four-year-old uh, child whose next door neighbor was an elderly gentleman who had recently lost his wife. Upon seeing the man cry, the little boy went into the old gentleman's yard. He climbed onto his lap and just sat there, just hung out. When his mother asked him what he had said to the neighbor, the little boy said, nothing, I just helped him cry. Love is the highest 
of the virtues. Love is your birthright. Love is already inside of you. You don't have to muster it up. It's not a feeling. It's an action to lean into every day of your life. And as you begin to look at the people around you, even the ones who are frustrating you, maybe even today, maybe even this week, through the eyes of love, I'll be honest with you, everything changes. So you guys have an amazing week.